Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be opening up another Funko Pop vinyl figure. This one from Suicide Squad, number 107. The Joker in the suit. Now this is a Walmart exclusive. Very hard to find. Or at least it is at the time of this recording. Let's take a look at the box. You can see the little sticker right there. Ages 4 and up. 14 and up, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the side. Take a look at the back. Now, again, it's one in a set of 15, but actually 16, actually 17, considering I also got myself the glow-in-the-dark uh, killer croc, so it's actually 17 figures if you want all of them. Look at the bottom. Look at the top. There we go. Let's take a look at the figure. See what it, so we'll see what we got. Couldn't find these at the actual Amazon store. I spoke to a guy I know that works at the Walmart, and they say apparently the stores only get about three of these figures per store. There he is. Uh, we've seen this one in the trailer as well. This is the one, the suit he's wearing when he's diving into get Harley Quinn after he's dumped her in the vat of, you know, whatever chemicals it is made him. Again, the head is pretty standard. Standard Joker head. You've got the standard Funko black eyes, the J, scarring, damaged. You got the same grill. Same stuff here on the head. Hair is exactly the same as the others. Only difference is the body. As you can see here, he's got his little bling right there. Nice set of gold chains. One visible tattoo right there. And he's got that purple, sh sh you know, shirt of his. And this very shiny suit or jacket on. Oh. Again, villains do like their bright clothing, lavish and extravagant. Shoes, nothing much to look at. Again, not much to the figure. Take a closer look at him. I'm not sure if the hands have gloves on them. Or if it's just, you know, where the shirt starts. It's got some nice little detailing there. Three little buttons. In the back, they got nice creases in the shirts and stuff. Falling. The pants and the shoes, not much to look at. Turns pretty easily. Again, that's pretty much it. Not, not much to the character. Don't know why... He's so hard to find, he should have produced him a little more. You know, these chase figures kind of make me think back to the days of McFarlane, the golden age of McFarlane toys. He used to release seven variants, and there'd be that one unique color and stuff, you know, nobody could find. And one guy had it in Chicago or something like that. And now McFarlane toys only makes like a very limited series of action figures. They really fallen from grace. I guess people just got tired of, you know, all of the variants and having to go hunting all over the place. This is a little better. At least these, you know, I mean, it's an exclusive to a certain store, so you know you're only going to find it at that particular location. Or from that particular vendor. But still, I don't know, four versions of Joker. Considering how much they say he's in the movie, which is they say he's in the movie about 10 minutes. I'm not sure it warrants that. Many versions. Well, there you have him. Joker in suit. The Walmart exclusive. I will be getting the Harley, uh, Dr. Harleen Quinlan, Quinzel or whatever, uh, pretty soon. So, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe... Really help me out if you hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.